What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we just finished our SmackDown live stream reactions. Shout out to everyone that joined us on YouTube and Twitch. Shout out to the homie uh, Steve, Sir Dance a lot for joining us as well. We had a good time tonight. I'm gonna be honest with you. This show didn't really live up <clears throat> to the hype of what we got on Monday Night Raw. It was some good things that happened on the show, but overall, um, the best part of the show was what happened at the end with Roman Reigns' return. So we're going to talk about that. And we also got to talk about what happened at the beginning of the show. So we start off SmackDown. Cody Rhodes come out there and he basically said he's pretty much did what he needed to do. Got the job done. He's moving on. And now he wants to talk about who he's going to face next at Bash in Berlin. Uh, Solo comes out there. He uh, has the Tongans with him. Obviously, I think they're going still with the storyline of Jacob Fatu still being hurt. So he's on the shelf. He comes out there. He's like, nah, 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 nah. <clears throat> You're not about to be focusing on anybody else except me. I want my rematch. And Cody, I love what they've been doing with Cody. I don't know if y'all realize that. Lately, he's been, I guess you could say, irritated and he shows his irritation in his promos he's not all super hop happy and jolly no he gets irritated with certain stuff and he got irritated here he's like no <clears throat> we're not doing this no more we're not doing this i already beat you you couldn't get the job done in bloodline rules and you think you're gonna get a rematch with me <clears throat> i already beat the wannabe tribal chief if you think you're gonna get a rematch it's done. You're not getting no rematch. You weren't good enough to beat me, even with tribal rules. It's over. You should be worried about Roman. So, <clears throat> Solo like, nah, screw all that. I'm going to just beat your ass, and we're going to go from there. KO comes in to help with two steel chairs, and he, uh, Solo, kind of backs away. He's like, don't worry about it. We're going to handle up on you. And um, he says, uh, Cody responds, don't worry, I'll be waiting. So he said, first we're gonna handle uh Solo said we're gonna take care of Roman, then we're gonna handle, we're gonna revisit this conversation. And Cody's like, I'll be waiting for you. Cool, whatever. So now Cody gets back to what he wanted to say. And he's like, Hey Kevin Owens, thanks for helping me. You've always been a good friend, but before you leave, I got something to ask you. <clears throat> Basically, he wants Kevin Owens to be his next opponent at Bash at Berlin. Now Initially, Kevin Owens says no. He's like, nah, I'm good. I don't want it. I'm good. And Cody's like, that's cool, but I'm going to talk to Nick Aldis back there. I think he's going to agree with me. I think me and you should have a one-on-one -on -one match for the undisputed WWE Championship. So I'm going to go back there, and we're going to have that conversation. I think he's going to agree. So we cut to them in the back talking to, with Nick Aldis. Kevin Owens is there. And, you know, Cody's trying to make his point with Nick Aldis. And Kevin Owens initially was like, nah, I don't deserve it. Like, I appreciate you, Cody, but I haven't done anything to deserve it. And then Nick Aldis starts making up an idea. He's like, you know what? I think I have an idea who Roman, uh, I, who Cody should face. And it should be Roman Reigns. And then Kevin Owens instantly got pissed off, as he should. Because whether Roman is a good guy, Kevin Owens had dealt with the bloodline and Roman Reigns' antics for uh, his entire title reign. Almost three years of what he had to deal with. And he starts going on a, a rant talking about how it, Roman Reigns deserves it. Roman Reigns is the least deserving purpose person to have a, a title opportunity. The stuff that he's done to me. The stuff he's done to to Cody. The You know. How many countless times has the bloodline saved him. In the, in, and interfered in his matches. To retain his title. If you're looking for someone deserving. Go in that locker room. You can find a lot more people deserving of a championship opportunity. Than Roman Reigns. And he got really passionate about it. And then that's when Nick Alder said. You know what. I think I found that person. And it's going to be you. So I'm going to make it official. Kevin Owens, uh, Cody Rhodes for the uh, WWE Undisputed Championship. And it was all to get him roused up. And then Kevin Owens agrees. Like, all right, fine. 
see you at Bash in Berlin. And Cody is telling Nick Aldis, I told you, if you would have said Roman, it was going to work. And it worked. It was all part of the plan to get Kevin Owens so mad and so pissed off that the, uh, the thought of Roman getting another top title opportunity after everything he's been through was like a slap in his face. And now they're going to have that match. It's going to be interesting to see what they do here because it's a baby face versus a baby face. I feel like they're kind of running out of ideas on who to have in a matchup. Now, I was thinking, you know, I know Randy's going against Gunther. So, obviously, I, I do feel like Gunther's going to retain. Will they bring this up at some point? Will Randy bring this up? Uh, a situation where, you know, maybe he would feel some type of way. Even though he shouldn't because he's facing Gunther. But maybe, maybe when Randy does come back. Cody doesn't initially offer that title opportunity to Randy Orton, and that can be a catalyst to why he may get upset. We don't know. We do. I do feel like that is a feud that they do need to go down the path on. The question is when. But this right here, even though I think this would be a fun match, I feel like it's a nothing match because, one, there's no feud between them. There's not even no friendly rivalry. It's just... They're cool. They're 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 good buds. So it was kind of random. It's like, yeah, you're giving him this title opportunity, but we know Kevin Owens is not losing. And I just don't see Kevin Owens turn the heel because he shouldn't. Not right now. If anybody should, it'll be Randy at a later time. But him turning on Cody, nah, I don't see it. And also, I don't see Cody losing. So for me, it's like kind of, I'm, I'm not as interested in the sense of like, Oh, this is a match that I, I really want to see because it's, it's just kind of, it seems put together. But we still got some time, so we'll see how they build it up. Maybe they do build up a little bit of tension with Kevin Owens and 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 Cody Rhodes. That could be intriguing. Hopefully they do because um, if you're going in as best pals for the title, it doesn't have that much weight. And But when you add a little bit of that tension to it, possibly... It adds a little bit more intrigue. So we'll see. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Kevin Owens versus Randy Orton. I say Randy Orton versus uh, Cody Rhodes for the undisputed uh, WWE Championship at Bash in Berlin. And also, we got to talk about the segment that everybody had been waiting for. Roman Reigns return. So, Solo comes out there and uh, he does the usual shtick of acknowledge me even though we know that's roman's thing but that's what he's the tribal chief now crowds booing him or the supposed tribal chief and then solo starts running down roman he basically says you know i have the eula Fala now and that means i'm the tribal chief so if you have a problem with it roman if you have an issue with it why don't you come down here and take it from me Essentially. And that's when Roman's music hit. Roman music hit. Crowd goes crazy. Everyone putting the ones up. Everyone else is acknowledging Roman without Roman saying a single damn word. And that's what made this work. So good. He didn't have to say nothing. Comes down there. And they uh solo sends out the tongue is to try to beat up on Roman. They got packed. I mean, he knocked both of them down. Not one of them, uh, Tongaloa, um, uh, into the steel steps after he hit, uh, Tamatonga with the Superman punch. Knocked him into the steel steps. He already can't see. Picked up the steel steps and proceeds to smash Tongaloa, uh, uh, yeah, Tongaloa with the steel steps. And then he smashes Tamatonga with the steel steps and throws him down. Packs him up. Just instantly destroyed them. Gets in the ring. They sizing each other up. And then they start fighting. They start brawling. And ultimately. Um, ultimately. Roman ends up getting the best of that in exchange. And ends up knocking down Solo Sokola. And that's when the Eula Fala falls off. So Solo's out the ring. Roman's walking over to it. And he's about to pick it up. But that's when the Tongans get involved again, start uh, attacking Roman. Roman packs them up with ease, takes care of them. And this was this is when we knew 
Roman was in a, a, a different space. He wasn't about talking. This is the Roman Reigns we've seen over the years, but on you know as a babyface now. But he still retained that aggressiveness, that intensity, the crash out in him was in full effect. You know what we were. You know what was about to happen. Roman saw, I believe it was uh, Tamatonga on the opposite side of the ring, by the announce table, by the barricade. And you knew what was happening. Roman got out the ring, ran all the way around the ring, hit a spear on Tamatonga, packed him up, picked up a steel chair. After, and this is after he already speared uh, Tonga Loa in the ring, picked up a steel chair, went in the ring, and proceeded to beat the living hell out of a one-eyed man in Tonga Loa. This was abuse to a handicapped person, I swear. Beat him over and over and over and over with a steel chair. It was beautiful. All the while, Solo Sokoa with the Eula follow on talking about, I'm the tribal chief. If you got a problem with it, come get it. As he's all the way at the top of the ramp. This was great. This was fantastic. Roman didn't say a single word. He was saying stuff off camera. Like you couldn't hear what he was saying. He was talking this shit to Solo. But this was great. This is exactly the type of return I wanted. Hopefully next week we actually get to hear him say some things. I think that's going to be great too. But this was great. This is what we need from him. It's literally him, the tribal chief, just on the good guy side. And I wouldn't even say the good guy side. He's just... He's what the fans want. Some would say he's a tweener, and you can say that, but he would still technically be a babyface in this situation. Either way, this was dope. I enjoyed this. This was the best part of the show. Like, outside of the LA Knight promo segment, which was awesome, and what they got going on with him, I believe he will be feuding with Santos Escobar relatively soon. Outside of that, in the opening segment with Cody Rhodes and stuff, for me, this was fantastic. This is what I want to see out of Roman Reigns, that intensity. Um, same type of intensity he had in the Shield. Same type of intensity he had as the Tribal Chief. Now he's back, and this is fantastic. Great. Looking forward to what they do with Roman Reigns. Uh, they just got to fill out the rest of the show to get it that it, get the intrigue with everything else going on. Because right now, now that Roman's back on SmackDown, that's the segments people are going to watch. So comment down below. Let me know, did you guys enjoy this episode of SmackDown? Also, are you guys excited to have Roman Reigns back like I am? I think a lot of us are. And when do you think we're going to get this solo versus Roman Reigns match? Do you think it's going to happen at Bash in Berlin? Or do you think it's going to be at Bad Blood, maybe? When, when y'all think they're going to finally clash? And also, when y'all think that, that, uh, that, I guess, that interaction with Jacob fought too, and Roman, because you know Jacob's going to be coming back soon. So when that interaction is going to happen, how y'all think that's going to play out? There's a lot of exciting things, at least on the bloodline bloodline side of things, that we can look forward to. But I appreciate all the love support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.